What a grand morning to be alive on planet Earth. Actually, in the whole universe. I'm still that little boy who was four years of age in spirit. That Mexican jumping bean. I wrote something to Dr. Robert O. Young. I said, you know, here's a perspective, you know, to sort of put it, frame it, if you want to, um, about what, if you will, think about this. When I was a little boy, um, I got sent, well, it wasn't when I was a little boy. I guess I was about 14, 13, junior high school. And uh, I was sent to a child psychologist. Now, I know that Robert Young probably is going to read this, so this is for him if he missed it. Um, you know why they sent me to a child psychologist? They're sending you to somebody that went through one of their schools. So when they send you somewhere to a doctor, that is presumably because there's something wrong with this little boy, with this boy. Okay? You want to know what they thought was wrong? He's running on too much electricity. My God, that's a lot of light, isn't it? Well, there's something wrong with it. What? He's running on that much love? Yeah. Well, we ought to send him to a doctor. What? What? Wait a second here. If I remember correctly, things can't move without energy. Right? Motion? You can't even think without it. So, if the universe is energy and it's moving... Right? We want to expand it. Make it bigger. Obviously, that's something with creative imagination. Right? And we got that. The right side. And me, I live through my heart because that's where all my light is, which is where all my love is, which is where my soul is, and the essence of my spirit. I love flowers. Giving away flowers like crazy because they're so beautiful to experience. That's living through a girl's heart. That's this side. I learned how to do that through my mother. My spiritual mother. A goddess. Okay? So I love to be consumed by goddess energy, obviously, right? And for self-evident reasons. So they wanted to take the girl side out of me. Creative side out of me. The light side out of me. The grand creator Sophia out of me. They ain't ever going to be able to do that. That's impossible. So they tried. So naturally, you know where we're going to hang out, right? In the trees. Why the trees? Well, that's common sense, right? Trees where all the big power generators are. Go out where all the phytoplankton is on a volcanic rock with active molten voltage. Because all you got to do is follow my timeline in all the places I hung out at. And you begin to realize, man, this guy loves big energy. High frequency stuff. He loves to be in the big voltage producers. Yeah, of course. That means that we love energy. The stuff that c creates the cosmos with galaxies, superclusters, suns, all that stuff. Banging out stars. Banging out new planets. So that's the creative imagined side of who we are. And when you're running on as much love as I got in my heart with as much light as I'm feeling right now then there isn't any limit to our potential, is there? Which is electrical potential. Which, for me, I always describe as infinite life, which is infinite possibilities, which is infinite imagination, which is infinite unconditional love, because we love our energy. So we just want to keep giving it away to go faster. And you begin to lose mass. You're off and running, man. What lift capability do you got now? I got no drag. 
Okay, so obviously I don't have to compensate for it, do I? Nope. self tune your way through the cosmos. So anyway, that's why this is a classroom. And that's why the Indians are down here, the clans and the tribes. So naturally, they went after one of our classrooms, right? And healing centers. So how am I going to be able to heal anybody if I can't keep my battery charged? So you know that you're not going to find me living in a concrete box with dead wood, wired up with Wi-Fi, in a city where I'm being hit with all their shit. Because they're weaponized. I keep my battery full by being with the girl on the planet. Her battery. She's the biggest healer. Okay, 110 volts, 60 hertz, 220 amps. Burn through all your chakras. Fully lit. Pushing purple light. Right? Man. Now people want your energy. Plug into this guy. Well, that's what we teach you how to do. That's why we're here. You want to learn how to be a lighthouse. You know, so when I'm going through the dark, I can see you. Remember, we put a candle up on the windowsill at night. Hey, the light's in there. Yeah, of course. That's a flame. That's a flame that burns a hot furnace. And I got a hot furnace. Okay? I could say some things, but I won't do it because I realize that children could probably see this. Although they need to know this anyway. There's just different ways that you can describe it and explain it in a way in which they can understand how simple and basic it is. If you don't have a lot of fire to get you off, lift, okay, uh, with a Tesla coil, you're not going to get very far. So that's why this is, I've always thought of this as nursery school, you know, because it is. It is lower creation, and it is a classroom where you learn how to go faster and, brrr, you know, motor through the cosmos. I remember a movie I watched one time that I thought was kind of funny because you love the creative imagination that others have to use holographic metaphors, okay? Like eyeballs that are bi-directional data processors because that's what they are, okay? Um where I saw a baseball in my head, naturally it's color moving pictures with wings on both sides or a wing on each side. Okay, so in other words, you hit a baseball. Wow, man, that, you see the little wings going. So the baseball's got wings flying out of the ball field into, this, out into the parking lot. Right? So you're actually picturing the baseball with wings on it the way the guy described it. Wow, cool. Now imagine that you could take What's in your mind when you're experiencing in your mind that picture, and he manifested it. Hey, wow, look at that ball with wings on it. Right? The bidirectional data processors. Cool stuff. So imagine you're in your conscious creative mind, and you're projecting what it is you're experiencing it in real time, one frame at a time. Go on to the next one. Imagine that. So you're not running an unconscious memory program that's designed for us to pound sugar into our body and do what? Create a waste product of metabolism. Why would anybody do that? That keeps your pH in a lower state, which means you're running on less juice, less light. So I drink chlorophyll now just about every afternoon. Spirulina, chlorella, and, uh, and naturally... Uh, purified water when I can get it living spring water. When I was on the Big Island of Hawaii, I was very lucky to have found um, a volcanic spring. It came right up out of the basalt rock. Boy, you drink that in the evening. The next morning, it's just like, yeah, you're like four years old again. Living spirit is in that water. So I've always suggested this, that uh, because... I'm sure that the uh, up people upstairs would love to be able to look at the Schumann residents and realize, wow, their energy's going up. Their energy's going up. They're feeling more love in their heart. They're feeling more light. Blink more lights at night, okay? 
They were blinking their lights the other night, and they're monitoring the morphogenetic field structure. I call that mapping the terrain. So they're mapping the resonance of the frequencies to see how all the units of consciousness are experiencing who they are as a response to the reaction of the events they become aware of. So I'm hammering, posting comments like crazy, relax. If you go to Project Incension, okay? Now I don't know if you can still punch that in to YouTube and you'll get it. But if you use DuckDuckGoGo and put in YouTube, okay? Project Incension, Triple Spiral DNA, you should get a pop-up with a link that takes you directly to that video where Patty Broussard, Karen Ann Luke McDonald, and Andrew Mallett cover the genetic side of the equation. Okay? And from there, you get a link to all the other videos they put up. Okay? Now, I'm a friend of Patty Broussard, so her and I communicate. Okay? So I get the stuff she puts up every day. Okay? To let me know it's what's going on. Okay? Even though I get communications and sort of signals in the morning... And it's great stuff. So when you already know what you know, because it's like, hey, you get communications it's like prompts, right? And those prompts, you become aware. I get it. It's time to go. It's over. So it's just like, okay, time to unplug. Memory dump. I'm not going to give that stuff any more energy because they're here. It's over. It's done. Light one. So... This is a time for celebration, song and dance for the liberation of the planet. And they would love to see everybody's energy go up in knowing that. Now, I was a little disappointed, if you will, when I get the guys that worked in the intelligence agencies, which aren't native Indians per se, unless they got Indian blood in them. And I don't know if they do or not. But when they tell me that they're going to parade uh, somebody by the name of Biden, okay, as being inaugurated